Here are four things you can find in the May 2025 night sky. On May 2nd, asteroid Vesta will reach opposition, or it'll be opposite of the sun in our sky, giving us a great chance to be able to see it if you have binoculars. Asteroid Vesta is one of the brightest asteroids visible from Earth, and on this day and some days surrounding it, you'll want to look between constellations Libra and Virgo to find Vesta. Just a few days later, on the night of the 5th into the 6th, the Eta Aquarius meteor shower will peak. Based on my research, it does look like this might be better visible for our neighbors in the southern hemisphere or close to the equator. However, if you live farther north, you still could see 10 to maybe 30 meteors per hour under optimal conditions. This meteor shower is caused by Earth moving through the debris of Halley's Comet. The radiant point, or where the meteors appear to come from, is constellation Aquarius. Now, Aquarius will rise early in the morning so that will be the best time to see the meteors is early on the morning of the 6th. Just about a week later on the 12th we have the full flower moon which will rise and be up all night. May's full moon will also be what's called a micro full moon just meaning that it's farther away from earth in its monthly orbit so it will appear a bit smaller in the sky. And at the end of the month on the 31st Venus will appear farthest away from the sun in the morning sky. This is also known as greatest western elongation. My name is Rochelle. I'm a meteorologist, but I also like to share space information just like this with you. If you're interested in more, feel free to follow me and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.